Hi everybody, it's Becky Livingston from Penn Heel Marketing and today I want to talk to you about increasing your Google Analytics data retention beyond 14 months. When we think about the changes that Google brought in about, oh, I don't know, a year or so ago, they talked about completely adjusting the Google Analytics account and you might have scrambled to save your data. And one of the best practices you probably heard about was changing, changing your data retention to 14 months. And, and that's great. That's one of the defaults. But now you're finding that you need additional data past that 14 month period. And you don't know how to do this for your firm. But I'm here to tell you that there are some options. When we think about what we can do, there's the first option is our conversion data. You can change your user level conversion data in Google Analytics. And what does that mean? That means you can reset a person's data collection period if they haven't visited it in a while. For example, Bobby Jones visited the site in February of 2023 because they're a tax client. Bobby hasn't visited the site until January of 2024. That's 11 months later. If you have Bobby set at the default of 14 months, but you don't have the box checked below that, reset user data to new activity. If you don't have that checked, it's not gonna start his or her activity over again. If you check that box, it's gonna be as if that person has not stopped visiting the site and you're just going to reset that 14 month period. So it's kind of like they haven't been in the store for a while, they come back in, it's like, hey, Bobby, welcome back. So <laughs> make sure you click that. That one's the easiest one to do. And it will, if a person hasn't visited the site for a while, it's going to reset their 14-month retention period. So that's an easy one. And in a few minutes, I'm going to show you how to do all this. The next one is BigQuery. If you need to extend your retention time, Consider BigQuery. There's a free version of BigQuery and there's a paid version of BigQuery. The downside of it is you need to set up a Google Pro, uh, Projects account to go with this. So when you're using BigQuery, the partial free data retention piece is 10 gigabytes of storage and one terabyte of data processing every month. I don't know about you, but one terabyte of data sounds like a ton of data. Not necessarily though, depends on your website, but it sounds like a lot of data. And that's the free version. The downside about that is that it resets after 60 days. So if you want your data to stay longer than 60 days using big data or BigQuery, you need to pay for that process. And there's several different pricing options depending on your firm. So what actually is BigQuery? BigQuery is a product that Google came out with in its fully managed enterprise, I'm going to read this, fully managed enterprise data warehouse that helps you manage and analyze your data with built-in features like machine learning, geospatial analytics, and business intelligence, blah, blah, blah. So what does that mean for me? That means it's a data warehouse. It is tied to your analytics account, but your BigQuery data sits outside of it. So you have the ability, you can download the data from BigQuery and put it in Excel and sort and do whatever you want to with it. You can archive this, the data that goes with it so you can hold on to the data for as long as you want. And you can see some of the best, best practices and advantages I have here. Um, the data is owned by you and it's in the Google Cloud, so it is stored online. It's not subject to cardinality limits, which is the number of unique values in a dimension. You can look that up if you're not sure what that is. Um, you can filter out and modify your GA data however you need to. I know some of the reporting is a little quirky inside of GA4, so definitely benefits there. You can scale it to handle large volumes of data. It also can tie to your Google Sheets. So if you're a Google house like we are, you can tie it to your Google Sheets instead of using Excel, which is great. And uh, there's a cost control. Um, there's custom reporting and dashboards, real-time data insights for timely decision-making. It's a great product if you need data retention beyond 14 months. And now that we've been into the GA4 for just over a year now, you might start think, might 
be thinking that you need that data beyond 14 months. Another option is the GA360. Now this is a paid feature. It's an expensive paid feature and it's really for really, really big sites. 500,000, I'm sorry, 500 million hits a month. We're talking, you know, some serious traction on your websites and it's 150 grand a year. So that is a potential option for larger firms. We're talking big four, top 10, that kind of thing. You can retain your data for 26 to 50 months with 360 and it does export to BigQuery as well. So you have that ability to download the data and sort it and do whatever you want to with it. Um, some of the benefits, it has an increased data limit, which is great. If you're getting 500 million hits on your site a month, you're gonna need some bigger data limits. There's um, unsampled reports with the free version. So you may not see all of your data there, but with the unsampled reports, you can see all of the data that's been collected, which you can't always see in just the regular GA4 accounts. You have advanced segmentation for deeper insights, integration with other Google products like Google AdWords, Search Console, Cloud, Platform, et cetera. And you get technical support, which you don't with any of the other products. So that's a potential option as well. And then let's go see this thing in action. So one of the features that I like about this is that you can also see this in action. And I have a video on this already, which I'm going to share in the link with this video so you can see it. But there is basically what you do is you log into your analytics account and you can come here to data retention right down here and you can click on that. And when you click on data retention, that's where you're gonna see that bonus tip of make sure this box is checked. You'll see that in the video that's attached to this one. Um, and you can change your filters there. I also have a walkthrough of setting up your um, BigQuery account. So take a look at that. And when you get this all said and done, it all comes down to which option are you gonna choose? Maybe you just stick with the free version, GA4, the way it comes, you don't need BigQuery but definitely set that reset to 14 months. Click that button. That's the minimum that you should be doing. The next option is BigQuery. If you need to keep your data for more than 14 months, use that one. And then there's the 360. If you have a very large site with a real good amount of data collection every month, 500,000 hits a month, then that's probably gonna be the best option and it allows you to download and import all kinds of data. So that's what we're going to talk about today. I'm Becky Livingston from Penn Hill Marketing, and if you have questions about your GA4 analytics or Google Analytics overall, give me a call. We work with CPAs across the country. Been doing this for quite a few years now, um, about 13 years. So give us a call. We're happy to chat. Thanks, and have a great day.